Uh, speaking of Mayor, though, he saw this collection, which I'm. I love Mayor, but I'm like, why is this news? Well, you brought it up. <laughs> no, because it's been like I think talked about his, like, I think it's news because because who he is uh, and what what how he spoke on his collection, then his back and forth with what's. The I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. I, I just. It amazes me how. And then plus the way that that YouTube that plus, documentary you was put it. together. If I'm trying to sell my shoes, I'm gonna make it a story so yeah. you can look at. It, see no, I mean I, I get it to some point. I I guess being facetious when I say it was in news, but I don't know. I just kind of like okay, like he sold his collection. I could see that being trending for a minute. Like I didn't think it was gonna be the the because, because, soup of the day because people who don't know him, he seems polarized. So. Well, and then the other yeah, part too. Yeah. The other part too is look who, look who it was. It was, was him and JC, yeah. right? So yeah. it's like there's, it's yeah. you no know, hype attached to hype. There, he's all he's doing is reselling his sneakers for crazy prices because he's not fat anymore. <laughs> That's what's going on. Ooh, I should, I should call Mayor right now. <laughs> I feel like he should ring the I bell should, on him. Like I'm gonna let Mayor ring that bell. <laughs> yeah. I should gonna, call him. Mayor right gonna box his so ass. So what would you do if you could? <laughs> he you said sell, no. you, you sell you shoes that call, you can't. Call him. I should call. Call him. What would you do if? <laughs> no, call no, him. No, no you wanted point. me to go see if that was trick trick the last time. <laughs> you should call Mayor. <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys, let's get him over real quick. Missing the point. Okay, I'm saying I don't believe your foot size changed that much. I'm saying that's just reselling shoes and not wanting to get called a reseller. Oh, that's what it is. Here's my thing, though. If if that was the case, why would he sell that amount? That was the For more For money. Obviously. I don't necessarily think he his price. Did you, did you go to the website and see those prices? Because he was getting seated a lot of... Here's my thing, though. You're looking at the prices. No, you guys are that. friends with him, so you're no, just no, no, not no, no, accepting No, 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 no. I'm looking at his collection. I don't, I'm not a friend with him. His, I don't know him. No, 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 no. He do. Oh, his, Attack Dunks the reseller. He just sold more than I ever had my whole life. Here's my thing, though. His shoes are harder to find, though. That's what they're going for. When you stole a pair of LeBrons from the dunk contest that he wasn't in, when you got, uh, what's the... Some of them are not, treasures, right, yes. Right, that's what I'm saying. When you got seeded stuff like that, of course you can do that. Plus, he's he's, getting, he's selling it to JC. J, how do you know how much influence JC has on the prices? It's posted on the website. I'm not saying, I'm not saying about as far as the listing price. So JC said, man... Well, the average consignment shop would would keep 20%. So it wouldn't be in JC's favor to mark it up so his twenty percent could be a bigger cut. Yes. So okay, so you can't put it all on mayor without knowing the exact details. JC's a reseller too, which is my point of who. That's okay. why I like him. But but he's saying that's <laughs> so that, that's why the markup is what the markup, markup is. is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I had to say. Now. And, then, gonna, uh, and then, and then, and then, and then to be fair, it is kind of like scientific fact. I mean, both me and him have worked in the shoe store. If you do lose a lot of weight, your foot size can go down. It's yeah. it's actually possible. Yeah. yeah, that's that's actually fact. Figuring- now, now, now we're going down that far down. Well, he, I don't. I can't. I can't. Well, he lost over hundred. Yeah, yeah, pounds. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I mean, it's something like Damn, I'm eleven. Was that big? Yeah, I'm eleven and a half, twelve, and it's some shoes now. And I'm like, hold on, I'm actually fitting comfortable in these eleven. So, like, and I lost like 10, 15 pounds. So it's just like it is somewhat feasible. He's just a more polarizing, so he can let it go for that much or whatever. Too. And, he, and you get older, you get a little wise. Like I got all these shoes. I could, if I can't fit them, I could let them go. Take this money, buy a property, which he said in the video. Like I could turn this into a residential property, have it make money for me. So if you resell your shoes to turn into a residential property or to go buy real estate, I am not. How much did he get? Yeah, people so people who resell to make a living probably reinvest in themselves. But here's my that's, thing: that's Did you sense. ever sell a shoe because you lost weight or you couldn't fit it no more? No. Okay, then. So how could you? Blame and then him you. For are, it? That's what I'm saying. And like, then I don't, you always I don't really say. That. And then you I always mean, say you chasing clout anyway. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Next, <laughs> I mean, you already try to how you see it from the other side. Uh, you already you have clout. You don't need to chase the clout, <laughs> so you can do shit like I already that. Know what's I happen. see all perspectives, yeah, and I get what you guys have to say. Yeah. But I'm going to throw the devil's advocate. I'm going to throw the other side yeah, out there. Yeah. I'm not. So look, what I've been doing since day one. I already know what's going to happen. Somebody's going to hear this. They're going to reach out to mayor. Mayor's going to listen to it. I'm going to get a phone call. And I guarantee he's gonna want to be on the show, like in the next couple of shows. I promise you. Uh, I mean, I bet. I'm pretty sure I bet because he's gonna let you. And like, I kind of followed it before he even sold his collection. And just so people know, like, like I, me and him give each other shit all the time. So yeah, it's just like we just had that conversation. Yeah, I mean that's that's mutual influence for talk, right? Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Guru the, whole, the whole summary of what I was saying, regardless <clears throat> of the reasons, I was just say, saying this little thing. It's glorified reselling. That was all. That was my point. I mean, he got rid of his collection. Nah, Weatherspoon no is glorified reseller. Yes. <laughs> let's get that out of the way. To have a collaboration, 
to have and then take your shoes and, and put them in round two and resell them. <laughs> and Nike give you a collaboration to go around and resell at higher prices. That's glorified reselling. Yes. To take your personal collection that you cannot fit no more. What was he supposed to do with it? Watch it. That's yeah, not up to me. I don't care. So how could so, you say so, which who why could you say what So how was it glorified <laughs> reselling? So is he supposed to give that Listen, stuff away? You guys can't stand when people resell, and I'm saying like this no, is no, one no, of the no, biggest no, 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 no. This is what we don't like. What we don't like is is when people go to a store or go on a website and buy up all the stock and keep it from us getting it, and then try to sell yes. it to us at a higher price. Yeah. That's vastly different than somebody who can no longer fit his own collection <laughs> that he either paid or was gifted. And then selling it because he can't do anything else with it. And then on top of that, there are plenty of instances when people will go through and sell their entire collection. Yeah. That's not glorified. Nike, that's but, but that's not glorified Nike, reselling. Nike SB every day is doing it on Instagram. Uh, today and tomorrow he's selling over 100 pairs. All size. Uh, selling, 10, 10 and a half. selling shoes. You Selling your own collection. Shoes that you bought. That you will wear. But that you can either no longer fit or no longer want. That is totally different than somebody buying with the explicit purpose of flipping. Now, if he bought, now, if in his collection he had 25 Paris dunks and was letting them go, that's reselling. To have yes. one pair, to sell it, that was yours that you wore? And you only sell it because you could no longer fit it? Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's not that's a, a thing. That's a thing. Yes, bro. yes, he's selling it, but it's not. Or look, even if you're selling it just because, like you said, you get older. Yeah. You'd be like, ah, I don't need them anymore. Mm-hmm. That would be mm-hmm. like, that would. Like just because I agree with the statements you're making. Okay, weed is a drug. Big news and and weed is a drug. Aspen is a drug. Just because I'm a doctor and I sell you and I prescribe you like aspirin and I'm on the corner selling weed doesn't make us both drug dealers. One is a doctor and one is something Uh, else. I disagree with that. (laughs) I'm talking. No, no, no. no. (laughs) (laughs) But then, (laughs) what I'm saying is something you can make something look the same. But selling dope or not. Look, you can make something look the same, but it's vastly different once you put it in context. I, I agree. <laughs> different reasons, different purposes. It was relevant in, in resale world, and it's it's one of the biggest resale events <laughs> I've seen. And I say what I had to say. I mean, uh, so I let me let, so let me so, guys so, so let me so let me ask this. So is that you speaking for the rest of the resellers? Oh, d- have you? It spoke- was relevant news. Have that's- you spoken to people who feel the same way you do about his collection being? Oh, sold? a ton. Okay, so that's why we. Yeah, that, that, that's what I mean by that. We don't know those people, so we say. And that's we- that's what you're the voice for them. Yeah. I mean, and, and you guys are kind of slightly changing my thoughts a bit as we're speaking, because right? <laughs> you're thinking about it now, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how, how do you think? How do you think Sneak will feel about that? <laughs> Well, it, they only get involved in raffles, from my understanding. Yeah, I yeah think but this but is but, like, but again, this but is it, like consignment. Yeah, unless yeah, yeah. but again, kind of like to Caesar's point though. Like, I mean, if, I think it's pretty fair. So, I mean, so say so say out of, out of nowhere, say you just fall out of love with sneakers, right? You just I'm done with it. I don't even care about sneakers anymore. And you just start selling your own personal well, stuff. When I need money, I do sell off old sneakers, and it hurts. Right, but nobody, but nobody. There's nothing wrong with that. The no, problem people have given me shit for it. Really? Well, they uh, stupid yeah. too. Then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's those, what we're saying. Like, there's no reason. I recently for that. made a those, post about those. Those are assholes. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, gonna yeah. have haters, don't. <laughs> it's gonna happen, man. Especially after this episode, I'm not coming back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, man. Hey, first you had Sneakle on, and now you doing this. They really gonna think you switch sides. 